In today's video, I'm going to attempt to turn this snowman into a house in Boxberg. So if you didn't know, I have a series on my channel where I turn different things into houses. And after a ton of comments from you guys, I thought, you know what? Let's build a snowman house. But before we start, I'd like to announce the winner of the 10,000 Robux giveaway, which is this subscriber right here. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Love ya, XOXO. Snowman. All right, you know what? We could do like a regular snowman, but I want this snowman to look exactly like this man here. I'm going to call him Steven. I'm going to call him Steven. Steven the snowman. First, we'll need like the first base of uh, the snowman, which actually kind of has to be a little bit big. It also has to look like a circle. Wait. Oh, wait. I don't know how to build circles. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. One, two, three, four. I feel like the more I talk about this, the more it's gonna flop. Did I ever tell you guys that I had like a weird fear of snowmen when I was little? I'm telling you, a serial killer could just hide in a snowman. Have you guys seen that one episode of The Office where like they hide inside of a snowman? That is terrifying. <laughs> Wait, I think I've, I've ruined that. Oh god, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, I think we're getting somewhere. You would think after turning so many things into houses, I'd get the hang of it, but nope. That can be the second ball. Now we just need the head. This is gonna be the weirdest looking snowman, but I don't think we can get any worse than uh, my house on mobile. Do you guys remember that? Yeah, we didn't talk about that. By a bunch of liars, thugs, and cows. Shut up! You know what I just realized? Why did I not paint this before I placed it down? Ha ha ha. All right, well, the texture of the snowman is, well, obviously the same texture as the snow. I feel like this is going to look like one short, fat snowman. It's meant to be fit and, like, buff like this man right here. Now, to make this more circular, we need to use a... Hmm. What are those roofs that like look like a circle? Is it a pyramid roof? I just need to test something. Is it a pyramid roof? No, it's not a pyramid roof. Hip roof? Guys, I don't know. SOS, please. Nope, not a hip roof. What? Okay, it's a mansard roof. I know it. It has to be. Okay, it is. And then we gotta like outline Zy edges. Oh, I'm missing a part. Wow, love that. All right, easy fix. No, it's not. It looks stupid. Oh my god, mate. Mate! mate. I'm gonna cry. You know what? Let me get this roof feed out and then we shall... All right, what about now? See, we're getting somewhere, okay, guys? Just with patience and the power of love. What am I talking about? The thing is, though, for this to work, I had to leave a little gap at the back here, which is going to make it look a little bit stupid. But guess what? We don't talk about the back of the snowman, okay? If someone asks, yo, Alaska, what's at the back of the snowman? Um, I'm just going to say, next question. <laughs> Next question. Okie dokie. Now, the next thing we need is his little top hat. For the top hat to work, we might need to have another roof. Is that too big? <laughs> I think that's too big. Why does his face look so small? Guys, I think I'm gonna have to do two layers for his face. It's just too small. Oh, but now that looks too big. Guys, what is going on? You know what? It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It'll work. It will work. You know why it'll work? From Alaska Violet. Everything works. <laughs> there we go. Why does it look like a uh, graduation cap? I'm kind of jealous of those schools that have like those big graduations and they throw their hat up in the air. You guys want to know how I graduated? On a Zoom call because of COVID. We had to go on like a massive Zoom call with all of our grades. And then at the end, it was like, oh, congratulations, you graduated. And I was like, oh, okay. You're joking. All right, next we need the scarf. Don't know how we're going to do the red scarf, though. Because remember, we also need to do his face. I think we're just going to use cubes, honestly. <laughs> I just remembered how ugly the back of this snowman looks. Don't talk about the back of the snowman, okay? You know Voldemort, man who shall not be named? Yeah, that's how I feel about the back of my build. We do not speak his name. All right, to make his scarf dangle. See how his scarf dangles? We're gonna use some large square beams. I've always wanted to build a snowman and then like punch it in the face. Oh, excuse me. Okay, that sounds a bit aggressive, but <laughs> do you guys get what I'm saying? No, probably not. You know what? I am good at building though. Sandman. You guys have a uh, snowman during Christmas? I get Sandman. Uh, next up, your eyeballs. And also, to make his eyeballs, we're gonna use spheres. Low key though, why is that looking kind of cute? And then for his little tiny mouth, we're just gonna do the same balls. Oh my god, wait, the, the snowman's face is wonky. Stop, that is embarrassing. I have to fix this a little bit right there. Oh, he looks like a little gentleman, doesn't he? Now we just need his little carrot nose. All right, what are we gonna use for his nose? Pyramid. The thing with the pyramids is that you can make them flat. I don't remember life before the transform tour is that bad all right moment of truth <gasps> bless your little cotton socks you look so cute oh you are so cute i love your skin 
Oh, and we also need his little buttons. Mate, why is that actually looking good? Now we need his little sticky arms. And I'm thinking, how do we build sticky arms? Maybe if I put a wall here and then I get... Oh, 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 we have his children over here. <laughs> this snowman's been getting busy. How do I build stick arms? Oh, cubes. Duh. My friend Ella just joined the game and she goes, what the? Don't ask. Baby, I'm not even here. I'm a hallucination. Whenever my friends join my game, I generally- I don't know how to explain to them what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's it for the arms. They kind of look like little chicken legs. I'm not gonna judge. Okay, very nice. That is the base of our snowman, which means now we can work on the house. Well, I mean, good thing is, it's not like a small house. We definitely have lots of room. I don't want any windows at the front because, um, no. Now, for me to fix up the layout in here, because right now, it's gonna be a very difficult layout to work with. I think we're gonna cut this wall up here. Maybe this could be the bathroom, living room laundry can't forget stairs that lead up into our bedroom on the second floor you know what the good thing is this snowman is like jumongous i don't even think jumongous is a word i just made it up luckily fast we're definitely not going to run out of room which is what usually happens in these challenges wait should we do something like really weird today should we do like an ice house oh my god so it actually looks like a snowman lives here oh wait that's a little bit quirky <laughs> Elsa's gonna be shaking in her little ice castle by the end of this video. Yep, I made up my mind we are doing like an ice castle vibe. I feel like that would be kind of messed up if a snowman lived inside another snowman. This is gonna be the weirdest looking house. <laughs> this is not what I was planning, but oh well. Okay, we can't forget windows at the back here. What do you mean not enough space to- Okay, I get it. You don't have to scream in my face. Hello, madam. I want to give you some free cash. <laughs> Well, wow, that was a reaction. Every time something doesn't fit in Bloxburg, Bloxburg just decides to scream at me. Yo, why is this inside looking kind of cool though? All right, second room up here. Yo, this is pretty big. I'm gonna make it one of those fancy rooms that have like massive second floor to it. What are they called? Like the ones that have a high, high reach ceiling. Does that make sense? I'll show you, I'll show you when we get there. All right, to smack some Christmas spirit in here. We're gonna use lots of these fancy pillars. I don't know what we're gonna do for the lighting though. Oh, you know what? Ice and cool lights around the wall trims. I mean, technically we can paint this any color we want. So maybe a nice cool tone. So we need the door to the bathroom. And then inside of the bathroom, we're going to add one of those big fancy glass doors. Oh, we can also make the door out of like ice. <laughs> hey, that's pretty icy. Do you get it? Oh, shut up now. <laughs> I don't know if snowmen use hook racks. We're going to have um, a little hook rack here for the snowman and his scarf. We're actually going to make this the same texture as his scarf. Just in case, you know, the snowman wants to change his scarf during the day, he can. Do we have any clear chairs? No, we do, but this is kind of boring. Boring! You know what we're going to do, ladies and folks? We're going to use a semi-transparent cube. You've heard of custom coffee table, but have you heard of custom chair? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a custom ice chair. Wait, for the pillows, we can use, like, spheres. I know, we're gonna be semi-normal today. Semi-normal today. Don't worry, guys, I'm not a complete weirdo. What's well, normal pillows, okay? I know that chair's made of ice, but low-key looks very comfortable. We've got a round painting here. I'm actually gonna turn this into a mirror. Then, for a finishing touch, a console table. This feels so weird, building a house that's meant for snowmen. Feels like I should not be allowed to do this. <laughs> oh, wait, this is so cute. You know how every console table has, like, a signature piece on it? Our signature piece can be the festive town hall. Okay, I know I said we're not gonna add any windows at the front, but it's way too dark in here. It's kind of creepy so maybe just a little window that is terrifying i look out the window what do i see a snowman who is this oh okay oh my gosh my friend is building like a custom made snowman why does hers look oh oh okay why does hers look so good and then you turn around and it's <laughs> i don't find you funny now we need our living room. So the reason I put the wall here is because we're gonna have a fireplace. Yes, we're adding a fireplace in a house that's meant for snowmen. If they melt, guess what? That's not my problem. I don't know if snowmen can read, but like they're gonna have to learn how to read because I'm filling up these shelves with books. And then a tissue box in case one of them melts and then another one has to clean up their uh, residue. Huh? <laughs> that's so messed up. You know what this fireplace needs? Christmas spirit. <laughs> See, ho, 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 if I say so myself. What if we do... Oh, wait, I just thought of the most, like, perfect thing. You know how a snowman's, like, circular? What if we do, like, a snowman-shaped coffee table? Oh, shit. Here we go again. 
I don't know how this is gonna work. You know, I've made coffee tables out of the most random things. I'm sure we can do a little snowman coffee table. And then like for the top of the coffee table, we can use a cube, which is technically gonna be the hat. I have a feeling this is not gonna work. Wait, no, no, no. This can work, okay? Unless we make this the dining table. Okay, yeah, I changed my mind. We're making this the dining table. Ah, uh, snowman dining table. That does not look like a snowman. <laughs> that looks like a deceased snowman, RIP. But I guess for the living room, we can just place two of these contemporary tables together. And these snowmen, darling, deserve nothing but the best chairs. I love how this house, like, makes no sense. Like, it's fully ice, made for snowmen. And it just has, like, a fireplace in it. We'll have some card games on the coffee table. Because, you know, like, during Christmas, when you play card games with your family? We play Uno. And, um, let me tell you right now, you don't want to mess with me during Uno. <laughs> Speaking of Uno, by the way, have you guys ever played Roblox Uno? If you haven't, go play Roblox Uno with your friends. It's literally so fun, and I have so many wins on that game. It's kind of embarrassing. All right, there's our cute dining table. That That is the lounge room. And next to this, I guess we can move on to the dining table. I love how I'm like, yeah, let's move on to the dining table, even though I have not done the kitchen yet. You know how we usually have lemon bowls on our dining table? Maybe instead of lemon bowls, we can just have snowballs. That's what snowman can eat for dinner, snowballs. Wait, is that considered? of cannibalism if snowmen eat snow. Okay, for the lighting on the dining table, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to do a cube, but inside of this cube, we add a light box. And then you add another cube, lift it up so it's covering the light box, paint it like ice blocks. And then with the transform tool, we can add it up here. And then there you go. We've kind of got a custom made light, which kind of looks a little bit stupid, but we're keeping it because I put a solid three minutes into that. <laughs> Okie dokie. That is our dining table. Last thing we need in here is the kitchen. And technically, I can knock down this wall just to give myself a little bit more room in here. Y'all, this kitchen is looking so illegal right now. <laughs> also, for the oven, usually I'll add the oven back here, but I kind of want to have the oven connected to the island bench. So for this to work, we'll need to put the pro chef here and then place basic counters around the oven. And yes, we are having an ice block oven, okay? Don't judge. Don't cover the you know what? Because the walls are white in here, I feel like the kitchen would look better if it was blue. Blue, blue. Yeah, I feel like that stands out more. I never use these um four shaker glass cabinets just because it's so difficult when I want to add stuff inside. I have to actually get out of build mode, place stuff inside, and I mean, who who has the time to do that? Me, I do. It actually looks kind of good though. You know what? I'm gonna start using them from now on. They look kind of sexy. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. Low key just wanna be a snowman and live inside this snowman. You know what we can have on the table? We can have like a little gingerbread house competition. We can use these cutting boards as like the sections of the gingerbread houses and then use spheres as the little gumdrop. <gasps> Wait, it kind of works. Okay, so I think that's the kitchen done. Also, I hate the fact that we've just got an empty wall here. So I'm just going to fill this in with a bookshelf. So the next thing we have to work on is the bathroom and the laundry room. Not sure if snowmen have baths, but today they do. This is such like an awkward layout as well because the snowman's on a circle. All the corners of the room are like weird shaped. Oh wait, one more thing in the living room that I forgot to add. Guys, we forgot to add a Christmas tree. I'm so sorry. Don't be mad at me. Anyway, back to the bathroom. Well, you know what look kind of cool? If I added like two traditional pillars at the end of the bathtub, add a plain high arch on the top, and a couple of snowflake mats. Yo, why does that kind of go hard though? These snowmen, billionaires, I'm telling you. That is making me want to go for a bath. Except I refuse to have a bath because it is currently summer. Wait, why is there no sinks? Oh, maybe because you spelt sink, S-I-B-K, you flop. We can have some toothbrushes, even though um snowmen don't really have teeth. Actually, no, scratch that. Snowmen do have teeth. Go search up snowman teeth. It's scary, I'm telling you. Okay, sink there. Now we just need the toilet. You know what? We're going to do like an ice cube toilet. And no, I'm not talking about the wrapper ice cube. We're going to put a floating wall toilet and then a cube outlining it. We have a literal ice block toilet. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so that's it for the toilet. Now, this little room in here is going to be the laundry room. I'm just going to put two cabinets like this and stack the dryers and the washers here. So, the down 
downstairs area is done. So now lastly, we have this upstairs area, which is going to be my bedroom and my closet. I have an idea in my head that I want to do. But for this to work, we're going to have to have a really big, obnoxious bedroom. Because what I want to do, right, is leave this section empty, place windows all along the top bit here. So then up the top, we're going to have this spiraling chandelier. And obviously we can like bring it down a little bit. It'll look better once the sunset comes in, okay? Trust trust the process. And listen, and you I feel like the more natural light in a house, the better it'll look. It's just basic science. You know, we can even be fancy and add custom windows. And then for this little back section here, we're just going to close this wall off a little bit like that. So then this way we can have a fireplace. Don't, 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 don't do it. <gasps> the fireplace comes on the outside. Stop. That is embarrassing. You can have a nice marble fireplace. Oh my god, with blue flames. Yes, sir, mademoiselle. And then our TV, aka a huge plane painting. To know what to do with these awkward walls here, I might turn this into closet. I usually put like a modern clothing rack here, and then I go into basic shape, lift it up, and then I add another layer up the top here. Damn, this snowman has more clothes than me. <laughs> you know, we can just make all the clothes in here Christmas colors. And then on the bottom, the little slipper collection. Even though snowmen don't really have feet now, do they? So then instead of a door, we're going to have an opening. Oh, you know what would be cute? Underneath the Christmas tree, we can have like dolls. Okay, now lastly, we just need my bed. I think it's only fitting that we add a fancy bed. That's elevated because we can. Yo, why does an ice block pillow kind of sound so comfortable? You know when you're in bed and you really wish your pillow was hold? It's your an ice block pillow. <laughs> I don't know why, but building makes me so hungry for some reason. Literally just on my computer building and I'm just like, I could crave a sandwich right now. You know, I'm going to make a sandwich and a coffee right after this video and I'm going to send you guys a photo. This is what it looks like. Alaska editing, was it a good sandwich? Yes or no? Okay, there's our bed. Queen Elsa could never... Oh my god. All right, folks. So I think the bedroom's done, which means the last thing we've got to add, babes, is snowmen. I'm talking snowmen in the kitchen, snowmen in the bathroom, snowmen at the dining table, snowmen in the living room, entryway, and of course, the bedroom. All right, so the total of this snowman house comes to $124,000. That is one expensive snowman house. Isn't that right, Stephen? All right, before we start, I need to let this sook in my room. Can I help you? <laughs> Okie dokie. So to make our way inside of our little snowman, we've got to go through this door. We've got the entryway here with a very creepy looking snowman just staring at you. Did I jump scare you? Yeah, I bet I did. You coward. And then if we go through here, the next room we have is the living room with, again, another very creepy looking snowman. Tell me they aren't the most terrifying thing ever. Buddy, I wouldn't get too close to the fireplace as you will burn. Yeah, next to the living room, we have the kitchen, which personally I think is one of my favorite rooms. I love this little custom gingerbread house setup that I done. I like the fact that the oven is right next to the island bench as well. Can you move? You're like in my way. Can I throw snowman? <laughs> So yeah, kitchen here, and then if we go inside of this little room, we have the bathroom. You know what? The bathroom actually turned out so nice. Look at this. What an iced out toilet. Your bum will get a little bit cold, but you know, it is built for snowmen. Isn't that right, uh, Jack? You look like Jack. You look like a Jack. We've got our fancy bathtub here, and then our laundry room, and I placed the doors wrong. We're going to ignore that. <laughs> and then here we have the dining table, where uh, apparently we are eating snow for dinner. That's that's a bit weird, guys. <laughs> we have two snowmen watching Frozen on the TV. And the reason I placed windows up the top here is because during the sunset, it lets off this really pretty natural light to the house. It just gives it like this nice warm glow. And I mean, look at the house from this perspective. Like, I mean, that is the most majestic thing ever. So yeah, that was me attempting to build a snowman-shaped house in Bloxburg. If you were to make this like an actual interior style, like suburban or modern, it would actually look pretty good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!